Hi everybody, welcome to another Vinyl Finds of All Kinds, where I share different vinyl by different artists that I want to share with you. Okay, uh, this first one up here is Tony Bennett, Tony's Greatest Hits. I wanted a nice copy of this. This album was a mainstay in the home of my grandparents when I was a boy, and I remember seeing it very much. And with the recent death of Tony Bennett, I've been trying to get at least a couple of albums that I wanted. One of them was I Left My Heart in San Francisco, and this is another one I've been meaning to get, and I did manage to get it in pretty good shape. Uh, this particular record here is on the Columbia 2i, now, I don't know if this is, somebody can tell me if this is originally a Columbia 6i. Also, while I make this video, I want people to tell me what they think of the lighting in here. Because I recently bought a new uh, lamp, which is right up here. And I'm not really good with lighting. And I've got, I've got one lamp here, a desk lamp. And I've got another floor lamp in the, that has three bulbs in the corner. I don't know if it's really helping out or hindering. It seems a little dark in here, but compared to my usual videos, what do you think of the lighting? All right, it's Halloween time, folks. It's uh, October, spooky time. So I got this album here, Spook Along with Zach. And I think I'm better off this way with the glare. Spook Along with Zach. This is Zachary. Uh, Spook Along with Zachary, not Zach. Zach is, is our nickname for him. And he was a mainstay on television in the 1950s mainly, and I think the 60s as well, where he showed horror movies. He was a, a horror host, much like Sven Gulli is a popular horror host these days. This guy's before my time. But uh, I got to see him a lot because uh, his name was John Zachary. And John Zachary used to be uh, the main host at the Schiller Theater Conventions. I used to see Chiller Theater Conventions in the 1990s when he was Master of Ceremonies there. I'm going to show you the label because um, I believe that this is an original. Well, definitely an original, but what I mean is I think these songs were reissued on a later album. Later on, I think I have another album with a different cover that has these songs on it. But before I show you the record, I want to show you if you can get a look at that. This is very bad. It's torn up the whole spine is like torn up here but what i do is some people tape these glue these together uh, when they have a problem like that i just put it in one of these clear sleeves and i never have to worry about it again let me just open the end here that's what i do whenever i have one of these albums in this kind of shape all right here we go here's the label Pretty thick record. The record is not in the greatest of conditions. Well, this this marks on this record. Don't even know if it's gonna play quietly. Well, I played one track when I got this at my local record store. I did play Coolest Little Monster, which is my favorite Zach track. And uh when I played it, you know what it had the sound of a crisp of a, of a crisp vintage vinyl but it wasn't horrible so okay now you know the new rolling stones album hackney diamonds is out it's one of my favorite albums of all time already oh, that's right after only a few days i made that determination i love it you know suck it up um and now i'm trying to fill in a few holes uh for my stones collection this one here is the rolling stones now and I think I have this already, but this is a, was definitely an upgrade. This is, you know, this is to fill in the holes. This is not one of my favorite Rolling Stones albums at all, this particular album. Uh, and I'm sorry about the glare, folks. i got to work on that a little bit. i got to try to fix the lighting. Let me know. There it is, Rolling Stones now. And the reason that I mainly like this is it's uh, got the hype stick of a heart of stone, a little red rooster. And also, it's in shrink wrap. You may not notice that, but there's some shrink wrap on there. So, uh, definitely a, an upgrade. Okay, here's a Stones album that everybody talks about. Let's go this way. Black and Blue. <laughs> Black and Blue. I hear this is a good album. Some people think it's eh. But a lot of people like Black and Blue. So, I went ahead. All right. 
Now here's a Stones album, and the last album I'll show for this video, that I know is considered the worst Rolling Stones album, you know. Uh, and here it is. Dirty work. Dirty work. I have one item to show after this, by the way. It's not a re uh, vinyl record. It's a CD. Yeah, this is, this has the hype sticker, of course. And, of course, I know Harlem Shuffle, and I know One Hit to the Body. Uh, I don't know anything else on here. And it's got the red tint to it. And the shrink wrap. But... I also picked this up for my Stone CD collection. There's Dirty Work, and as you can see, Dirty Work here is different. Different color. Well, it doesn't have the red. Ta-da! There's the difference. So anyway, folks, thank you for watching. I'll have another one of these as soon as I accrue enough albums. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you again.